I'm dating is I don't have the same complaints that everybody has about dating. I know people are like the dating pool has P in it and everything. And I think part of it is because I'm a positive person, bro. Mm -hmm. I will never speak that on my life ever. Mm -hmm. You're never going to hear me say that dating pool is bad. I'm not going to speak that. And because all the people who complain about it say that every day, multiple times a day. Yeah. I think that has something to do with it. I genuinely do. Um, I also don't necessarily have a hard time getting dates. So that probably has something to do with it also. <laughs> um, when I was dating one caliber of woman, I would take my, I would date for a little while. I would take myself out of the dating pool because I wasn't getting what I wanted. And I would recalibrate and do some more work on myself. And mm -hmm. so like earlier this year, I didn't start dating again until, la until June. Mm -hmm. And the women that I've met since then have been really, really great, honestly. Yeah. Character wise, they show up differently and better. And I think it's because I'm better too. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And so, yeah. So let me ask you this now because I know. So do you prefer to date younger or older women? I honestly date everyone. <laughs> yeah. I do. I have my I was in, I've been in a relationship since my ex and I broke up. Mm -hmm. I was in a relationship for six months. Mm -hmm. That woman was a year older than me. Mm -hmm. Um, and I mean, most of the I will say this: most of the women who are attracted to me or who to like approach me are typically in their earlier thirties, mm -hmm. and they definitely, you know, their whole thing is like, you know, at this age I've matured or something. You know, that's what people say. I've had a marriage before so the fact that i've even tried to be a husband at one point you know a lot of women respect that mm -hmm. you know and the fact that i'm open to it again obviously and so i think yeah i i date honestly anybody who is willing to just meet me where i am and is willing to just do a, a few things like be accountable for the things that they say own it not be a liar as, you know, some of the basic things, which is harder to find than you would think, actually. <laughs> that is something that I have learned, too, in this dating game. <laughs> we'll talk on offline about that part. Oh, okay, okay, for yeah. sure. So, because, so it seems like, because it seems like there's so many people, like you say, that complain about dating. And, and I have seen some horror stories, right? Because I, I have... Yeah, for sure. Some family members that have shown me text and 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 videos of people with it, and I'm just like, they yeah. really asked you that, but, you know. So I don't discredit that, but you are one of the very few people that has said your dating experience has went well, and you attribute that mostly to your your attitude. Absolutely, yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, it also helps that I've been like back in the gym. Oh, okay, okay, yeah. You know. <laughs> Okay. I'm yeah. not going to say that's a bad thing. You know, it, that, that helps a little bit. Uh, yeah, for sure. But yeah, my attitude, I mean, yeah, I just, I refuse to look negatively at it. And you know, probably what it is too, I also have a very problem solved kind of mindset. So when I wasn't meeting the women that I wanted to meet, I took some of the feedback that I'd gotten from some of the women that I wanted and didn't necessarily want me. I talked to some of my friends, some of the women friends in my life asked got feedback from them and then i just thought about certain things to myself and then i just i made those changes i think that's the part that a lot of people don't actually want to do and i'm not talking about the i'm going on a trip for a week out in like the mountains away from everyone i'm talking about like really facing some like i have therapists i have different doctors helping me like really get to the nitty-gritty i had to switch therapists i had one and he was like I think I've been, been able to help you as long as I can. And he's the one that got me through the divorce. Mm. And he was like, I think you need somebody new. So I took a few months off. Then I got somebody new. She has been amazing. Mm. You know what I mean? And really helped me like come up with different coping mechanisms and different tools. And so I just feel like, but I had to face a lot of ugly truths. And I just don't feel like a lot of folks want to do that. Yeah. And don't want to do the work that it takes. I also now have to wake up in the mornings and go to the gym. Who wants to do that? <laughs> but the women that I like, like a guy who has muscle and is fit. So, and getting fit is what I need to do anyway for myself, yep. for my kids. Mm -hmm. 
you know, but a lot of people don't want to do that. That's that's work no one wants to do, you know? And so I think people, a lot of folks, not everyone, put themselves in some of these situations. Mm, I love that. Yeah, because I've been, I, I work out at home. I have all my stuff in the in my garage. Oh, yeah. And uh, trying to save me a couple of dollars. <laughs> yes, sir. And uh, uh-huh. I've, you know, been exercising three days a week and, and open it up to four because I'm like, I need to get in at least four days. Um, and yeah. it can be challenging with little kids and stuff like that. So I, I get it. There was uh, one question I wanted to ask you. Oh, because a lot of times it seems like when it comes to dating, people say that there aren't any good men, there aren't any good women. I don't know if that's just internet talk or people really out here struggling. And hear me when I say this, Matt. If I was single again, I, and, and, and no shade to my singles because I got single subscribers. I love y'all. But if I was single again, Matt, I could easily get find another wife. Now, I don't know if that's just because I'm a man and there's, you know, more women than men. But I'm just like, why do people make it so hard to find somebody that they want to be with? Um. I think there's a couple of things. I think there is definitely an illusion that social media has created. Mm-hmm. People do want to be able to post. Um, I think that for a long time, we may have downplayed the looks requirement that women actually have for men because grandma didn't wasn't able to be as strict with her requirements. You know what I'm saying? Mom couldn't even be as strict with her requirements. And I'm talking, you're my peer. So we're talking baby boomer type parents and grandparents are even old. You know, we have to go with the brother who is moving the right way, wants to be a father, a husband, wants to do this family partnership thing together. But a lot of the women weren't able to move independently, which is also part of the reason why when you talk to a lot of women, they will tell you that their grandmothers told them Make sure you have money on the side. Make sure you get education so that you can move around this world freely, right? Mm -hmm. And in case your husband starts doing some wild stuff, let's just keep it a buck. Mm -hmm. I think now women have the opportunity to choose what exactly they want, that they know that past generations of women have not had the opportunity and they want what they want. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And they want the best guy to settle down and be with them. Mm -hmm. And I completely understand it. I literally... I get it. You know, it's just, and I know people hate hearing it, but it is actually the truth. And I've now seen it in real time myself. So people can't lie to me about it either. I've I've watched it. I'm in different groups. Um, I'm in different singles groups and whatnot. Mm -hmm. Women talk about the things that they want every day. Men who they say that they want character wise and everything show up to them every day. They're in their comments. We're having discussions but they don't look the way that they want them to look. And so those men get passed over and I understand it. And then the guy who's super attractive comes on and he says something and the women are fawning over him. These are live conversations. And I'm like, this is, again, I have no problem with that, but that brother does not want to be married. (laughs) And he literally has all 30 of you commenting right now. He knows he can have all of you. He's good. And this just the complete honest truth. The same thing with a lot of men. Brothers want it. The, the arm candy has always been important, but brothers want next level arm candy right now. But they don't necessarily want to do arm candy work. Ooh. And they also want the arm candy to be super intelligent, but be a homemaker, but have a career and have her own thing going, but also know how to be a wife and cook and clean. But also treat me like a man, like, Brother, sometimes when I listen to bros, I'm just like, y'all, you want her to literally be everything. It doesn't work that way. But they've seen different reels on social media. So like, no, this is possible. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, you know, folks have to be willing to do what it takes to get what you want. Right. Mm -hmm. And examine the people who do actually are interested in you. And if you don't like the selection that you have, like I said, I didn't, do what it takes to change to get a better selection. And that is the wall that people fall at. That's where everybody stops. Mm -hmm. Nobody wants to do that part. They genuinely have no, especially the older folks. Yeah. 
Our forties and up, folks. Yeah. No, yeah. <laughs> they don't want to change for nobody. No, yeah. Yeah, take yeah. me as I am. <laughs> Come on, Sean, stop doing that, brother. <laughs> you didn't. You didn't say it was church today. Hey, you Come know we're gonna have some. You know we're gonna have some church, bro. Just a little bit. Yeah, just a little bit. <laughs> no, I get it, man. That man, yeah. this is so good, man. Because there's so many women that eh, love my sisters, but like they you do. said. They want that that man the way they want him to look, and I get it. Looks are looks are very important. Don't get me wrong. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But and I was talking to my wife about this the other day. I don't tell me. Let me know how you feel. But I was mm-hmm. like, I don't think you can just have everything. I think some things. You know what I'm saying? Like you, you know. Yeah. If you if you like a woman built a certain way, that's cool. But she might not be as respectful or she might not have tact. Right. You know what I's saying? Like, ooh, she and she she a brick house, but she don't know how to talk to me. Right. <laughs> right. You know? And the woman that will literally praise you and worship the ground that you walk on and do all the things that you said that you want a woman to do, but she doesn't look the way that you want her to look. I completely understand. I get it. And that's the conundrum that so many of us are in because it takes a lot of work to change. And also, you know, people, I think we've also romanticized being alone nowadays. It's a social media trend to an extent, Mm -hmm. you know, people dating themselves, which is fine. But I feel like we're glorified a little too much, you know, and I, I don't know. This, I'm not even going to open this can of worms. It's so much. I have so much to say, but I'm not even going to, I'm not going to go there. But I, again, I see it in real time now Yeah. for years, not for years, when my marriage was falling apart. And even when we met on social media, mm-hmm. that's when I first started hearing about it a few years ago. And I was completely confused. I would tell men they were lying. I was like, women are not moving like that. Yeah. You guys don't know what you're talking, like arguing. Four years later, I have had to apologize to a few of those brothers. Wow. Because I've seen it from, I've literally seen it for myself. I've now had the conversations with other women with, and they've said it out of their mouths. So it's like, it's not a secret anymore. And a lot of women are like, I will wait. I would rather be alone than not have exactly what I feel like I deserve and what I want. 